YouTube, what's going on? Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and I wanna make this video as a Q&A and ask me anything, and also sort of a miniature channel update, um, I guess recapping 2017 and talking about 2018 a little bit. Now, before I begin this video, I know a lot of you guys know who follow me on social media, maybe Instagram or Twitter, that my wife and I went through something very traumatic late last year, and um, we're definitely still dealing with it. So. Um, if you don't know what it is, uh, there's a post on Instagram about it, and I'm, that's the last I'm going to say about it. I do want to say thank you for everyone who's reached out to us, who called us, who texted us, who sent um, monetary gifts, I guess. You know, um, people bought movie theater uh, gift cards and um, like Uber Eats and things like that to, to help us not worry about certain things, not worry about where we're getting food, and also motivating us to get out the house and do something. Um, I just want to say thank you to you guys. Um, your, your, your well wishes were definitely heard, your thoughts were definitely felt, and things like that. So, um, you know, the situation isn't something that we're over right now, but um, for me to remain busy and keep working is what's best. So um, thank you to that. And all my coworkers out there who watch my videos, um, really appreciate what you guys have done for me too. So with that being said, we're gonna move right along. All right, guys, so we're gonna talk about 2017 for a little bit and then go to the Q&A. So 2017 for me, I guess on a YouTube aspect, it was kind of a, it was a mixed year. You know, as far as uh, video content, as far as growth and as far as organic reach, those things I wasn't 100% happy with. Um, I was in a situation where I spread myself thin way too many times. I do work a full-time job. I do have a wife too that I wanna spend time with. Just bought a house, working on the house. A lot of things are going on in my life right now and it's just really hard to put in the full amount of time that I want in videos. Ideally, one video, one review, I would take ideally around 10 hours. That's planning, writing, shooting, editing, all that stuff, but I just don't have that amount of time anymore. So I was working with different editors and things like that, and I was able to get some decent content out, but I was just never 100% happy with it. And for me, that's kind of a bummer because like, I'm really into the creation of video and things like that, and kind of got away from that also did computer builds and stuff like that and I really enjoyed those videos were a lot of fun but that's not really my expertise and the growth was good I had a lot of views with those and it was actually really dope but I was working with someone and I realized that I can't work with anyone who's not like me my work ethic is a little bit different than most people and it just didn't work out it just didn't pan out correctly for me so uh, I'm gonna go back to doing what I'm good at doing. I'm gonna do mobile devices, and I'm also gonna do smart home and general tech too, because I'm into more than just mobile devices, okay? Also, if you guys have noticed on my channel, maybe the last month or so, I've been doing some videos, doing unboxings, and that's not, not what I normally do, but we're gonna do unboxings on the channel now. And the reason behind that is because unboxings on YouTube is kind of a staple of the tech YouTuber, and I sort of wanna get to doing things that people are really into. And sometimes I get a lot of cool tech that I just haven't made a video on. So I think an unboxing would be a great way to share my initial expressions with it. Don't take a lot of time, just kind of a casual video as I talk about what I'm using and what came in the mail and things like that. So I think that would be definitely fun. All right guys, we're gonna get into the Q&A portion of the video. And this is the Ask KTT, and I posted on Twitter to ask me whatever question you may have around tech myself or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. First question is from Akash Pai. What is your New Year's resolution related to YouTube? Um, I don't know. I don't make New Year's resolutions. I sort of just do it. Uh, I don't need to wait till New Year's to do something. Uh, this one's from Kevin, great name by the way. Um, what tech innovations are you looking forward to this year? Do you think the iPhone 10 successor will bring as much hype as the first iPhone 10? I don't think the successor will bring more hype than the iPhone 10. I definitely think there's a, a level of hype with anything Apple related, but more hype, no, because the iPhone 10 was brand new. This is gonna be sort of an increment upgrade. So yeah, I don't think the hype's gonna be much more. And also tech innovations am I looking forward to this year. Um, selfishly, smart home stuff, but I think beyond that, I really do like VR, and hopefully that next level VR can happen. I'm a really big fan of virtual reality. I made a video on the Oculus Rift, and uh, that video is linked below, and yeah. Um, Akash Pai is asking what's my daily driver for now, once again. Um, this is actually my Pixel 2 XL. It's probably gonna be my phone until the next Pixel come out. Big, big Pixel fan. Um, best albums of 2017, any genre? 
that's tough because like now I'm sort of the listener who just does Spotify playlists. So I'm not really an album guy anymore. Like I don't go out and get an album anymore. Um, but I did like a lot of songs off Big Sean's album. And also Logic's album was really good, but I'm still a, a bigger fan of his first album. Um, so Omar Tech Reviewed One wants to know, what do you think will be the best thing in smartphone technology this year? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, we want, what do you need? Omar Tech Reviewed One wanted, wanted to know, what do I think will be the best thing in smartphone technology this year? I don't know. It, it, it's so hard to get that next step with things. I think last year definitely was the camera on the Pixel 2 XL. We're seeing some amazing photos. And I just hope cameras continue to get better. Um, designs of phones, smaller bezels, more performance, all that stuff. Um, uh, LaShawn wants to know, what company will be the first uh, phone with 512 gigabytes? People are just doing SD cards now. It makes it a lot easier. Um, I can definitely see one of those companies like OnePlus doing it though. I can definitely see one of those companies that want to make a splash do something like that. Tech Infusion wants to know at what point did you know that YouTube videography was an outlet that you wanted to pursue? And I always thought about that. Like uh, I remember I saw John Rettinger making videos and I, I told John Rettinger to his face now after meeting him. Uh, I told him I was like, well, I thought I was like, oh, dude, dude gets to this review tech and open it up and talk about it. I was like, dude, I can do that. Like what he's doing isn't that hard. And then one day I told my girlfriend at the time, who's not my wife, I said, I'm gonna buy a camera and I'm gonna do YouTube videos. And she said, go ahead. And so here we are today. Will you be at CES, says G Rojas. Um, I'm not going to CES this year um, due to the situation I talked about earlier. Um, I was off work for a month and a half, so I can't take additional time to go to CES and, you know, things like that. So a lot more going on behind the scenes than, than what it may appear to be. Um, Black Dad Chronicles, he wants to know, what do you use your phone for outside of calls, text messages? They have so much power outside where they're made for, not trying to get too deep. Um, what I use my phone for, my phone is pretty much my lifeline. Yeah, calls, texts, all that stuff. I don't even use calls that much. I really use it for um, Twitter, obviously, um, email. Also, when I get contracts sent to me and things I have to sign, I actually do that for my phone. When I had the note, obviously, you pull the S pin out, you could just do it. But on phones, you could just have to use your finger to sign something, or you have a signature saved and you just paste it on there. So I do pretty much everything as far as Tech Ninja business and also work related things too. So I have my work email on here and stuff like that. So um, probably not untypical compared to what you guys may do with your phones. Um, and I do Slack and Discord and all that stuff on the phone too. So um, I use my phone heavily so my battery never lasts as long as some people post on their screenshots and stuff like that. KNX, KNX wants to know, when are we gonna meet up and do something? Dude, come up to Detroit, man. When you come to Detroit, come, come up here. Come to Detroit. Actually, I wanna visit North Carolina, sidebar. Uh, this, is, uh, this is video for one, but um, I do wanna come to, to, to North Carolina one day, man. So um, we definitely will link up. Vocality, hope I'm pronouncing it right. Looking for a new phone, particularly the OnePlus 5T, but scared the six will come out sooner, soon this year. Any advice? OnePlus drops out, drops phones every six months. So whenever you buy a phone, there's gonna be another phone looming. Um, 5T is a great phone, period. Great phone, and the six is gonna be a great phone too. So it's kind of one of those things, if you're in between months, and you wanna wait a couple months to get the six, get the six. But if the phone's available, you wanna buy it, buy it. I mean, there's gonna be always new phones coming out, and OnePlus phones are not super expensive where it's unattainable to upgrade every year, but at the same time, it's a good phone, buy it. Um, KNX also wanted to know, when can we expect more smart home videos, and also do you wanna start a podcast? More, more smart home videos. So, um, as you guys know, I bought a house, I've been doing smart home videos, um, because, you know, this is my house, I'm gonna make it smart, you know? And I, I, a lot of those videos are pretty fun to make, and some of them are actually doing pretty well, but it's not really about the views to me too much. Um, there's gonna be more. Once I start doing my tour of my dojo, then I think that will spurn more smart home videos. But I have a lot of things going on in the smart home right now. As you guys can kind of see per, in each videos, different things are getting upgraded and different things are changing, getting tweaked and stuff like that. So a lot of smart home tech is involved and I will be covering that shortly. Also when it gets warmer outside, it's, it's cold. Like I don't wanna like do stuff out of the house, so. Eric Slavin wants to know, uh, essentially wants to know, do you think dual screen phones can represent the future? I don't know, I think there's, that's gonna be definitely niche, but I think there will be a market for that. 
I just don't know what the market is. And I think a carrier, a phone developer, an OEM like Samsung would have to do it for people to get behind it. ZTE, we know it because we're in the we're in the know, but the average person doesn't know what ZTE is in America. So they would for them doing it, it's kind of a cheeky company, sort of like, eh, I don't know about them, but if like Apple did it or Samsung did it, then everyone will do it. So I think it takes one of those companies to really do it before people really get behind that concept. And I did not have a chance to use that phone. So um, yeah, it does definitely seem cool. James Oak, the tech you regret uh, the most buying. This may sound crazy, but my, uh, my Vizio 4K TV, my M60, because it was supposed to have an HDR update, but I bought the 2016 version, not the 2017 version, never got a 4K update. I mean, never got the HDR update. But they told me I'll have an update and it just never came. And I called them and their tech support's horrible. Amir Montani, he wants to know what's your favorite and least favorite things that you that you do that are YouTube related. I mean, replying to comments, editing, and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so my favorite thing to do is actually the community, talking to people, um, sharing my thoughts and ideas, creating a positive dialogue and conversation. The least favorite thing I would say basically is, um, the other stuff, the mundane thing, the link in the video and description and thumbnails and you know doing that and posting it. I don't wanna do all that. I just wanna make great content to share with people and that's it. All the other stuff I really don't like to do. I don't wanna tweet about the video. I don't wanna know that stuff. But it's one of those things that you have to do as a content creator. Anyways guys, that is it for the q and I have talked a lot. But anyways guys, uh, big things for 2018 coming up. Um, everyone just seems to say that, like big things coming up. I don't have anything planned really, but I always have faith that big things will come up personally and also um, with YouTube too. So anyways guys, um, Kevin the Tech Ninja, hopefully you enjoyed this quick or non-quick Q&A video. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.